money dreams. Lots of people had money dreams, okay? Money, like I said, your your dreams are a representation of how you've been using your mind. Everything in the dream is a representation, uh, uh, a representation of some sort of aspect of your own consciousness. So if you have a dream about money, you know, dreams are also in the in the language of the universal language of the mind. So that language is, is a language of form and function. So if money, if you have a dream about money, money is the form. And what is the function of money? Money allows you to equate and understand the value of something. Like if you go to, if you go to a, a Sunny Share the Live, they get a follow, appreciate it. If you go to a, a, a Best Buy and you're looking to buy a TV and they got a, a 42 inch TV for, for $8,000, are you going to buy that TV? No. No, $8,000 TV and it's only 40 inches? Hey, that, that hey, that TV better reach onto my couch and drag me into it. <laughs> you know what I mean? For $8,000. No, you don't value it that much. But if you go into Best Buy and you have that 40-inch TV and, and it's there for $50, oh, yeah, that's a steal. I, I, that's undervalued, Right? So money will represent value. But since everything in your dream is an aspect of your own consciousness, it's all about self-value. So if you scratched off a lottery ticket, then it's going to represent how the day or two before you have you have a much greater increased awareness of your own self-value. So if you've been working on self-value or self-worth, then a dream like this is going to show you evidence that what you've been working on is actually having a, an effect. You know, so you are increasing your awareness of your value because you can't increase your value. You can't increase your um, your your self worth, your self value. It cannot increase. You cannot increase it. You cannot decrease it. You know, what I mean? you are already tremendously and immensely and infinitely valuable and worthy. You are valuable. I don't care what forty two people is on here watching. You are valuable and you are worthy. The only thing that needs to change is your awareness of it. How aware are you of your tremendous value? How aware are you of your immense worth? That's the only thing that's going to change. And a dream like that will indicate that that awareness is increasing tremendously because there's millions. I mean, tremendously. 8,000. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So Twinkle Eyes just became a mentee, so they get getting some priority as well. They said, I have asked Source to give answers through dreams. And it's only worked a few times. I would love to. Okay, keep practicing. Keep writing down your dreams every single night, and you will notice how you can do that every at any time. It's called dream incubation, and we talk about dream incubation in the universe in the dream interpretation masterclass. So when you get to that part, the very last class, the very last week of uh of material in the dream interpretation masterclass, it talks about incubation, incubating dreams, and how to do that. And then I would love to learn to strengthen this ability. Beautiful, good. You're already well on your way. And then Kez, another mentee, he says, 8,050, I'm noticing the correlation, was that on purpose? Oh, wait, what? Uh, oh, is that the money you're saying? 8,050. Okay, so eight represents value, again. And the zero represents power, so it's even more powerful of the value that you have for yourself. Five represents reasoning. Reasoning is the uh, power of the conscious mind. The three keys to reasoning are memory, attention, and imagination. So you're probably increasing your memory, attention, and imagination and strengthening those three powers are allowing you to become more aware of just how valuable you are. Can I please have my dream interpreted? Absolutely, Wix, throw it in there. Okay, Dubsky, hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Love you, bro, love you too. Appreciate it. Empress, good to see you here again. Thank you. Okay, well, what was the dream, Wix? I'm not sure. Did I pass it up, maybe? Let me see. I'll scroll back a little bit, but I ain't here. Uh, I don't see it, Wix. I had a dream of a sick horse that was at the vet to get better. Wow. Oh, Wix, we just did this. I won, I dreamed I won the lottery, 15 million. How long have you been here, Wix? Did you hear about the money dream? I literally just did that. Essentially, it represents that you're you're becoming more aware of your own self-value and self-worth. I just got here. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I've, I've spent like five minutes just kind of really going deeper into detail. But essentially, uh, having that dream represents that you've, you've increased your self-worth 
and self-awareness. I mean, uh, self-worth and self-value. But Winchy True uh, said that they dreamed of a sick horse that was at the vet to get better. Well, like I said earlier, horses represent habitual uh, ways of being, you know, ways that you habitually act and think. But a horse is different. You know, some animals are a little different. A horse is one of them. Horse will represent your willpower. So, witchy true, you need to strengthen your willpower. You probably already know this. You know what I mean? Because you've taken the horse to the vet to get better. So, you probably already know this. You're probably already starting to implement some things in order to strengthen your willpower. But one thing that I would want to say, ah, thank you for reclassifying. Apologies for having to clarify again. No need to apologize at all. No need to apologize at all. You created that experience for yourself for a reason. I created that same experience from my perspective for a reason. No need to apologize. <laughs> if it was an issue, I would have just skipped over it and said, Too, uh, snooze, you lose. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, appreciate the love. Appreciate the hearts. Uh, so the uh, the willpower, one thing, who, who here needs to strengthen their willpower? Who here feels like they need to strengthen their willpower? Put will put put W in the chat if you feel like you need to strengthen your willpower. Hmm. Capri, Kiss, Alex, woo, everybody, everybody. Okay, so one, the Keys to Success course is going to teach you how to strengthen your willpower and your concentration. So like like I said, you can become a mentee and get exclusive one month, ninety nine percent off the first month, and you get exclusive access to the Keys to Success course, which will teach you how to do that. Use the promo code Worthy. And go to the more info on my page, metaphysical mentorship, put in worthy, boom, it takes it down like 50 cent for the first month. Then you get exclusive access to the key success course, and it'll go much deeper into how to strengthen your concentration and your willpower. But real quick here, for everybody wanting to strengthen their willpower, what is it? Put in the chat for me, what is it you're needing to strengthen your willpower for? Eating better, exercising, um, giving, making more time for yourself getting a promotion at work, uh, getting your business started and taken off, going back to school, getting better grades, all that. <laughs> but but put into the chat what it is, reaching my goals. Put the goal in there. What do you what are you needing more willpower to achieve? Trusting my abilities, self-love. What goals, kids? Give me one. There might be a lot of things, but give me one. Everybody everybody who put a W in there should easily be able to put what 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 did you think of when you said yeah I need more willpower setting boundaries communicating beautiful making more time for myself to focus on my business and complete school beautiful getting my business started witchy true I was hoping you were going to be one of the people to put on here because this was your dream that initiated this getting my business started okay so you might have started actually once you had this dream you probably started putting things into place well when you're, when you're having difficulty and you need more willpower, you need to find out what fuels your willpower. What fuel, If you need more willpower, you need to fuel it. What fuels your willpower? Desire. Your desire will fuel your willpower. So, so frequency rising, how much of a desire do you have of purchasing your first home? Meowser, how much desire do you have to eliminate caffeine and Pepsi from your experience? How much desire do you have of saying no? How much twinkle eyes? How much desire do you have to take better care of your health? You know what I mean? You might know that that's something you need to do, but how much desire do you have? You know what I mean? Like caffeine and Pepsi. I, I desire to be healthier and not be drinking this soda, but the shit tastes good and I don't really want to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't really want to give it up. I don't have much of a desire to give it up. So if you don't have the desire, what fuels your desire? How do you increase your desire so that you can increase your willpower? And your desire is fueled by your purpose. Your purpose will fuel your desire. So then when you understand your purpose and, and what your purpose is, then you'll have more of a desire to use your willpower to overcome any obstacle or objection. Yeah, this Pepsi tastes good, but I want to I wanna be healthy. I want to have a healthy liver. I want to have... I want to have more energy naturally. You know what I mean? That's, your, that's my purpose. Because your purpose is how you will personally benefit. So if you're needing more willpower, then identify what your desire is. And then identify what your purpose is. What, what is your desire for reaching this goal? You know, have these boundaries. What's your desire for that? How will you personally benefit 
from buying your first house? How will you personally benefit from setting boundaries? How will you personally benefit from trusting your abilities? How will you personally benefit from getting your business started? How will you benefit from that, Witchy? How will you benefit from getting your business started? And you need, I would write this down. Do you do personal talks? Uh, yes, I do. Um, but I would suggest becoming a mentee and reach and communicating with me through there. Otherwise, it's like 3000 for a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but uh, but how will you benefit from from starting your business, Witchy? But I would I would write down the benefit, and I would write it on a piece of paper, a small piece of paper that you keep in your pocket at, at all times, every single day. And then when any time you're having trouble, or and also in addition to any time you're having trouble, like ten times a day, pull it out and read read your purpose. Continue to remind yourself of your purpose so that you can continue to fuel up your desire, and so that you can continue to fuel your willpower. You know what I mean? It's like a car. When your car's running out of running out of gas, you don't just sit on the side of the road like, ah, oh, I guess I'm not getting there. No, you stop at a gas station and you fuel it up. You know what I mean? So you need to fuel your willpower through fueling your desire, through fueling your purpose. And so continue to remind yourself of what your purpose is. So you can always have a full tank. And then you can use your willpower to achieve your goals.